Okay, so welcome to part two. Um, things I didn't notice as I was recording. Apparently it didn't record the whole slow motion of the oil all melting down. So sadly we missed all that. So, <laughs> but um, I've stepped away from my lie a little bit um, just so I can kind of catch up to date on what's happening with part two without the respirator going on. Um, so right now I am cooling both the oil and the lye solution um, because like I said, with soap you want to make sure that they're between 5 and 10 degrees of each other when you actually put them together. Um, so what's going to happen once that happens, once we get that temperature, is that I'm going to slowly add in the lye solution into the oil solution and then I'm going to mix that up a little bit, just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to add in all of the essential oils for this lymphatic soap. Um, it is one of my more popular soaps. You can find it at sageandthimble.com. Uh, you can order it there and I can ship it directly to you. Um, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to message me on the app and I will get back to you. So uh, without further ado, here we go. temperature so as you can see our oil is right about 98 and our lye right at about 99 so what we're gonna do we're going to take out our green, green means safe to touch, red means no touchy. Alright, so, we're going to start off the slow pour, and then we'll switch over to our blender. So now that that process has actually started melting in, I'm going to take the respirator off for all of our sakes, but I am going to leave my goggles on just in case we have any kind of splash. So we're going to bring you in a little bit closer. We're going to grab our stick blender. We're going to start to blitz it on low, burp it, and uh, pardon the noise. Now the process that's happening here is we're getting our saponification started and this is what actually makes the soap. So we're going to go a little bit faster. We're going to take it to what they call light trace where you'll actually start to see the blender 
trace along the water or with just like a light tracing paper. Not there quite yet. We'll keep going. <laughs> there. All right, see how we're starting? To go? You're welcome, everyone. There we go. My first actual flub. Okay. <laughs> so we'll try taking you closer again without being too close there. So you can see right on here, it kind of leaves a little bit of a line. Now it does disappear quickly because we're still working with a liquid, but right now we're going to start to add our essential oils for the soap. So I'm going to go back to a light mixing and as I add in, and I'm going to add this in right along the blender so we don't have any splashing. Uh, first one is rosemary. Beautiful, beautiful smell on this one. And it helps with manual lymphatic drainage, but it is uh, a little bit of a ricer. So we're gonna go a little bit more quickly now. We're gonna go on to with the uh, uh, bergamot. There you go, you see it's starting to get a little bit thicker. And then we're going to move into, lastly but not leastly, our cypress. We're going to go a little bit higher. Make sure we mix this in before we get too, too much of a tree. There we go. All right. Making sure we're getting all this in. And then we're going to quickly take it over to our molds. Beautiful. We're going to quickly take it over to our mold and we'll get them cooking. All right, so this recipe is actually doubled, so we're going to make two. I've got two three pound soap molds, and I'm going to hopefully distribute this evenly between the two of them. We're going to get pouring because you can see we're starting to get that pudding texture, which tells us starting to set up a little bit so get that one in there well start getting that one in there whoop quick all right Without any kind of bubbles that may have gotten themselves in there from all the mixing. Try to level it off a little bit. We'll do another little droppy do here. And we'll scrape this all down. So we don't waste any of it. Pardon the camera angle. Like I said, I'm kind of trying to do it a little bit quick because we are starting to set up really nicely, which is a really love to see. It kind of has that vanilla pudding in a can. Some of you may know what I'm talking about, the vanilla pudding that comes in the giant can. Maybe from your high school days, maybe from your current days. It's the best tasting vanilla pudding ever, and you can fight me on that. That's fine. I'm going to win. All right, guys. Instead of doing a whole part three, I just went ahead and added on top of our lymphatic soap. We've got, this is our herbal, which has rosemary on top. And then we have, this one has our pink Himalayan salt on top. So these are available at sageandthimble.com. Like, 
follow and maybe we'll eventually be able to do that live I keep talking about.